Today we're going to look at the VNC client for the N900. So if we go into our applications menu here, scroll down till I see my VNC icon right here. I'll click on that. And it automatically remembers the last place I, ser I logged into and I can see a list of all the places I've logged into. And you have some options, but I'm just going to click OK. It's going to ask me for a password. Let me go off screen here and type that in. This is just logging into my computer in the other room and there we go. This is the desktop I have going in my other room running uh, Debian Linux. Uh, and you can see I can scroll around the screen using the scroller bars. And I can click on stuff like so. And I can also use my keyboard to control. Oh, I opened up a video. And you can hear the video playing in the other room there. And it's right over here. You can see the video playing. So, let me scroll up. I'll close that. So you can see it's, you know, pretty easy to use besides the fact that most computers have a higher resolution than the N900. So you have to uh, scroll around to see the whole screen. But the cursor works and I can use my keyboard. Like if I was to hit enter now on the keyboard, boop, it will open up those three video files. And once again, it's a VNC, so it's not super fast, so you're not really going to be able to watch videos clearly on it, because you're going to get a relatively slow frame rate. But that's the VNC client on the N900. I prefer using SSH with X-Tunneling uh, to run applications or even the full desktop if you want to go that route. Uh, when you're done, you can you have disconnect options down here. Oh, you also have this little button here that kind of brings your toolbar on and off so it's kind of like a full screen gives you a little more room on the screen there and you got unplug and plug so connect and disconnect or just exit the program altogether so that's the VNC client on the N900